everybody, welcome to sunny Exmouth, Southwest UK. Behind me here, we have version one of the Patrol 760 Adventure hardtop. We're going to take the boat out, give it a bit of a sea trial, then we're going to come back in and give you a detailed walkthrough. Let's go. Straight away you can feel that you're in a, in a shelter, there's less wind, there's a much less wind on you and there's much less wind on the people sitting around you. The drive-by wire is a pleasure, it really is. You can just leave it in a position, it will hold station, whereas mechanical, mechanical gearboxes tend to creep. Drive-by wire sits and stays in the same position. So we're heading out now, we're going to take a little trip from Exmouth uh, to Tor Bay, about 12 miles. Let's go. So we're doing 21 knots now, really comfortably. The boat, already you can feel that this boat will just go through anything. It's so planted that you can feel the inertia, the extra weight of this hard top, it just gives you that feeling of, of, of a weight and it will punch, punch, punch. Remember this is already sitting on one of the best offshore hulls on the market. Uh, so adding that extra weight just gives you a little bit more ability to punch through when the conditions get tough. So we've now popped her up to 25 knots. We're just exiting the fairway now. It gets quite narrow here at Exmouth, as you can see. Um, beautiful sunny day, March. So the air temperature is still cold. It's only 10 degrees air temperature out here in the in the offshore area. And this shelter really makes you feel like you're less exposed, much, much more comfortable. And you can imagine for your family, for your kids, or if you're out doing a commercial job, it's a really comfortable place to spend a long period of time. One thing you notice now, we're cruising along at 24 knots. There's no noise, there's no wind noise. I'm comfortable. The air temperature is only 10 degrees, but we're sheltered in here, so we're sheltered from, from the worst of that. The screen angle's perfect. As a driver, as a pilot, I can see everything I need right in my line of vision. My visibility out of the screen is fantastic. If it gets a bit wet, if it's raining, or if I'm taking some spray, then the screen wiper will just keep that clean. I've got my heater exit points here. My switch panels are really, really easy for me to get hold of. And ergonomically, the throttle is in exactly the right place. So for me, there's no reaching, there's no leaning. Everything about the driving position of this boat has been really well thought out. So we've just been into Torquay, uh, we're leaving now, we're going to head back to Exmouth uh, and we're going to do the return journey with the sides down uh, to see how she feels when we're fully enclosed. So 
Pescado. So immediately, there's no wind. You're completely enclosed, warm, dry, comfortable. It's an amazing feeling, actually. Just pop her up on the plane. We've got a radar screen here. So when you're doing big miles, offshore miles, nighttime work, maybe a bit of a fog rolling in, this boat is such a comfortable place to be. And they're popping up now. about AIS alarms, 24 knots, no wind, everything feels solid, completely comfortable. So you can imagine if the rain comes in, if there's a rain shower, if there's a bit of a chop on, so you've got the odd spray coming in, you don't need to worry about any of it. So you can go to your destination, to your restaurant, maybe to your job, you can do your day's work without having to wear all your offshore gear. So we got the diesel heater running. It's a sunny day, imagine it's not a sunny day, rain, wind. You can see already the difference between the cabin temperature, 22.2 and rising, 22.3, and the outside temperature, which is 16.9 degrees. So you can see how efficient that diesel heater is and how pleasant the environment inside this cabin will be. Quite warm in here now, so we just pop the sunroof, and that will give us a nice airflow coming into the cabin, keep us cool. So we've just come back from Torquay to Exmouth uh, with the top completely enclosed. Temperature inside the cabin has remained around about 18 degrees, no wind, really comfortable, no slamming or banging, not too much wind noise. I think it's really got potential to tap into a market that's quite new in the rib world. So heading into Exmouth now, along the beach, those of you that want to see more about this boat, keep watching because we're going to do a detailed walkthrough when we're on the pontoon. So here she is. First thing to say is why did we conceive this boat? Why did we introduce this, uh, this boat to the market? Well, the market, particularly the rib market, is in a constant state of evolution and change and adaptation. And we find, particularly in Northern Europe, that we use our boats differently to those perhaps in the Southern European countries, in the Mediterranean. In Northern Europe, we tend to use our rib to get on it, to go somewhere, and to get off again, whether that be a long distance cross channel passage, whether that be hopping from one marina to the other for lunch, we use our boat differently. So what we wanted to do was introduce a boat that allowed you to prolong your season, allowed you to think about winter usage. And what did that entail? Well, that entails shelter and that entails heat. Um, so we've built this semi hard top with drop down canvas sides. Most of the year you'll use it with the canvas sides rolled up as you can see here. But when the weather gets up on that particularly chilly winter day, when the wind is blowing, when there's a bit of spray coming on board, drop the sides down, keep your family nice and dry and comfortable and warm. And you'll see when we look at some of the features, 
diesel heating included, windscreen wiper, windscreen washers, full glass surround, bow and stern, ample storage, radar, weight bearing roof. It's an amazing package. Come with me, we'll show you a few more details. So she sits on our standard Patrol 760, 26 degree dead rise, all weather hull. You can see here, windlass, standard. Windlass is operated from the, uh, from the helm position underneath the hard top. She has a 250 litre under deck internal fuel tank. She's self draining at rest. So she's a mile cruncher. She's designed to carry you long distances. Speed was not the priority in this package. Economical, cruising, all weather, that's what this boat has been made for. Orca fabric impression, pipelon tubes throughout, double lifelines for the whole length of the boat. You see we've got a nice fender rack here. It doesn't need to be a fender rack. You can replace those fenders with, you can imagine some other equipment that you might need, some mooring lines, some extras. Even a small life raft should a commercial user want to use this vessel. Now, going back to the commercial point, one of the reasons this boat was conceived is because in the UK in particular, to achieve category two coding, you need to provide your crew and your passengers shelter. So for category two nighttime use, this will allow you to push the 760 from a Cat 3R up to a category two boat. So that's a very important factor when we design this boat. Leisure, adventure, commercial, category two. We'll start the stern here. By now you're all used to our over-engineered A-frames, extremely strong, extremely durable piece of kit. We've got an engine protector on here for, for those commercial users that are going to be using this boat in sort of confined spaces and they just want that extra bit of protection. Toe point on the top of the A-frame there. Extreme strength and you can see here actually we have a dive ladder on this boat so this is a port side platform nice boarding platform so that ladder as you can imagine will drop over the side it will hang down over the tube and should you have any commercial people should your family be out swimming should you be diving that ladder makes boarding this boat really really easy and she's so stable at rest you've got no problem with that yaw that you'll get with some of our competition brands honda's 250 drive by wire v6 economical reliable a real workhorse and pushes this boat up to touching 40 knots, but that's not the point. She'll sit at 25, 26 knots all day long in comfort and fuel use is really very, very good with that Honda. So back end of the hard top. Well, that's solid glass, not cheap perspex. And the great thing about this hard top is it's weight bearing. So I can climb up this ladder, nice and safely, good handholds. There is our Garmin radar, Garmin radar system on here. And you can see coming up, you can see a little uh, hatch light there. And now that's me standing on the roof for carrying paddle boards, for carrying surfboards, for carrying commercial equipment, for carrying even, even camping equipment if you're taking your family away for a for a long weekend somewhere. This roof rack here is an invaluable, invaluable addition to this hard top. We're so coming down from the roof and into the actual semi cabin area. You'll see that there's ample scope here for a big electronics package, lots of equipment there. We've got two nine inch plotters on here. You can have up to a pair of 15 inch plotters if you wish. We have a radar screen on the port side there with engine data as you can see on the starboard side. As you're all used to now, our brushed switch panel, windscreen wiper with washer bottle which we'll come to in a moment. Really great roof light there so on a really warm day and you need a little bit more air flow through the cabin area. That little roof light will slide back, give you that extra area. And look, as with every high field, we think about safe, massive handholds, huge, huge handholds. Anywhere you're standing under this cabin, you've got somewhere to hold on to. And here we are, LED, 
LED courtesy lights there. When the light gets down and you want a bit of light inside your hardtop, you can just fire those up. It gives a really nice soft light for everybody inside the boat. So we have fitted this particular hardtop with a pair of our bucket seats. So they're seating here for four. So family of four, typical family of four, this will be your long distance, all year round cruiser with the stability and the extra safety inherent with ribs uh, and that comfort that you all kind of want when the wind is blowing. When well, Even in March and April, we know in Northern Europe, it's, it's a pretty cold place to be. So we have four bucket seats here. You can see from a commercial point of view, you could quite easily fit six jockey seats underneath this hardtop. So port authorities, environment agencies, uh, police, fire, any sort of patrol boat, this hardtop has you covered. And remember, it gives you the option for category two coding. Let's have a bit more of a look at the, uh, at the console and the equipment that is fitted uh, to this particular vessel. Now, we'll start on the dashboard. Now we have fitted uh, twin nine inch plotters from Garmin here touchscreen, we have our radar and our chart data on the port hand side, we have our engine data here, so we have everything right in front of the driving position, which is perfect, superbly visible, really nicely sat in your eye line there. Brushed stainless steel switches, we have a USB charging socket here, and also with our colleague Scanstra, we fitted one of their wireless chargers here, so that is a universal wireless charger so you can pop your passenger can pop their mobile phone in there and charge it in the dry out of the elements completely covered diesel heating exit diesel heating exit cup holders cup holders again these are the small details that really highfield makes the effort to, to add we have a full fusion sound system we have our garmin ais vhf here twin battery switch so we have a twin battery system on this boat as you would imagine we have a 12 volt charging socket here and we have two more of our diesel heating exit points. This particular Honda drive-by-wire has the plipper, so this is pretty much armed. As soon as we set foot off the boat, the engine is immobilized. Drive-by-wire throttle. Here we have our diesel heater control. So that will give me at the moment, that will give us our temperature inside the console. That will give us our air temperature. So we're reading 14, 14 degrees air temperature, temperature inside the console, 27 degrees. And this is your digital controller. So you can control all of your temperatures on that unit. And this is your wind last switching. So looking at the front of the hardtop, you'll see that access port and starboard is still possible. We felt it was important to give you that passing room so that people didn't have to walk on the tubes when they were passing the console. Um, massive, massive storage locker here. As you can see, you can see by the amount of equipment already in this boat. So we have flare boxes, we have safety kit equipment, we have fenders, we have extra bags. We have our windscreen washer bottle here and our diesel heater is here with our exit pipes and our exhaust pipe here all of our switching is easily accessible and if you want to get into the more detailed side of our rigging behind this gray panel you can access that really really easily and if you need to do some maintenance inside there the great thing is you can actually climb in uh, so you can climb in there and get on with the work that you need to do without any problem it's a really valuable valuable space nice sized uh, nice sized bow seating area there we have a fuel filler here windlass motor is underneath this locker so should you have any jams in your chain or any issues you need to address with your windlass motor it's very easily accessible as is your chain locker so your chain locker again really easy to access under here details 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 and as with every Patrol 760. You can see we have our welded lifting points. So we have two in the bow and we have two in the stern. Thank you for watching this episode of High Fuel Boats TV. Stay tuned for the next episode.